What's up, D Buzz? What's up, D Bulls? So, y'all already know it's time for real talk. I know y'all like, girl, it's about time. Yeah, it definitely is. Mm -hmm. So, as you guys know, it's 2021. I have not done Real Talk in quite a while, so I'm happy to be back. You know, I do like to sit here and just talk to you guys, talk shit, talk mess, talk about whatever, you know, it's, it is what it is. We just keep it real, you know what I'm saying? Even though I do keep it real in all my videos, like seriously, I do. Um, but you know, here I could just be a potty mouth if I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Act a little cuckoo, uh, just voice my real true opinions about people, places, things, what have you, you know what I'm saying? However, I hope you guys are having like an amazing day. I know a lot of you are basically like well awaited and I wanna say thank you to everybody who has sent me some emails to start off this real talk with. I do have a new special email for that and I will post it down below. So that way I can just go right to it. I don't want any other type of nonsense filtered in it like business opportunities, can I buy your lipstick, can I buy your shoes, like, I don't want any of that stuff. I just want it to be strictly to real talk. So that way I don't miss none. I, I can get to everybody and it's just a lot more organized. So You know what I'm saying? So make sure you check it out below. You can talk about yourself. You can talk about your mammy, your daddy, your bestie, your boyfriend, whatever. You could talk about whatever to me. And as you guys already know, if you do send me a real talk email, make sure you put in the subject line real talk. And in that email, please make sure to state the name that you would like to go by, even though your name could really be Sharon and it could be like a whole bunch of Sharons in the world but your specific predicament might hit out to somebody you know that may also watch me so if you don't state your name in that video like what you want to be called I'm gonna make up something okay that's just what I'm gonna do but other than that we're gonna get straight to the real talk video for today if you guys are interested in this wig I will be posting up a video for it very soon it was supposed to be a middle part but somehow it just turned out into a slanted part it's kind of kind of kind of hard sometimes to part a wig on a canvas block mannequin head especially for me but hey and as you know i already got dds on the go i'm really like doing a really good thing with rhyming these days like seriously i, I need a contract i definitely need a contract so let me plug in my phone before it dies here. After this, I'm gonna do another video. Um, I do have a couple other videos to do, so, you know. All right, let's just get into this real talk, okay? This young lady had already titled it too. Real talk, he's short in too many places, okay? Hey April, please refer to me as Dominique for your real talk. I thank you in advance for taking the time to read this. My name is Dominique and I have been in a semi-serious relationship with this guy a little over a year. We met through mutual friends. Actually, my best friend and I would meet up occasionally after work to have drinks at this restaurant. My bestie, whom you can call Steffi, we work at two different places of employment, and the guy I am, I am dating, or rather in a relationship with, is one of Steffi's co-workers, who she invited along with a few other co-workers one of the nights we were meeting up, well over a year ago. It's a cool establishment, more or less a sports grill and bar. The night Steffi, her co-workers, and I I met up was back in late September of 2019. I had been single for well over two years and honestly I was not looking for love, a man, or a relationship. I was enjoying my single life, the freedom, and not having to please someone or allowing a man to get under my skin. Whew, I honestly was not interested. Well, I was introduced to several of Steffi's co-workers, men and women. Everyone was so pleasant and easy to converse with. Mainly me and my bestie Steph sat at a pub table for two, and one of her co-workers, whom we shall call Eddie, kept looking in our direction. Steffi noticed his stares and waved him over and reintroduced he and I, along with filming 
with filling him in and on our friendship. All three of us had a great combo about work, life, shopping, places we like to visit, and family. At the end of the evening, we exchanged numbers. We spoke a few, Eddie and I spoke a few days later. Um, it started off with a text from him asking, did I remember him? And is it okay to call? So we can verbally speak and not text. Okay. So Eddie basically texted Dominique a few days later and asked if he was, if she remembered him and was it okay to call because he would rather verbally speak versus text. And I can get that. So we spoke, made plans to meet up where we first met, which was cool at the, at the, at that bar, sports bar. The meetup was great, girl. We vibed hard. Long story short, we got close. Was together every day for over a month. His place, my place, out and about. We was like glue. So finally, after a little over a month, we was chilling in my apartment and we both was touchy-feely. Kissing, you know, it was getting hot and heavy. He started whispering stuff in my ear of what he wanted to do to me. Now, mind you, it has been a few years since I was down. Now, mind you, it has been a few years since I was you know, D downed. Okay. And I never been hard up for the D because I was focusing on myself. Well, anyway, getting back to his sexual explicit remarks in my ear, I was ready to try it out. April, let me just say, I could have went another several, okay. Let me just say, I could have went another several years without the D. Maybe I was asking or expecting too much and maybe he was nervous. I don't know, but his performance was on a scale of three. Two of that three is be is being given for his dirty talk. Damn. As for the size of his private, well, I've owned lipsticks bigger than that. Well, moving on, I forgot to mention that he is shorter than me. I am 6'1", and he is 5'8", and that makes it a little awkward at times. I gave that first time with him another chance, thinking it would be different. Girl, no, that is just him, smaller than a lipstick. Now COVID came and we spent so much time together at home, mainly indoors. I started noticing his income was just as short as he was, his height and his private area. We would order in and I guess because we would be at my place and I would answer the door, he felt the need for me to always pay, not reimbursing me or even offering. Then he started like hinting about we can move in with one another. April, he's got a great attitude and very sweet, but I'm just not into him moving in. I know sex isn't everything, but oh my God, girl, what do I do? His words are better than his performance. I like him, but I don't think he is someone I would want to move in with, let alone ride out the storm with. Thanks for any advice, Dominique. Well, girl, okay, so basically, as we already heard, uh, Dominique met this guy named Eddie back in 2019 of September. She was re she was introduced to him from her best friend, Steffi. You know, they meet up at a bar and grill from time to time and have drinks with one another. This particular time, Dominique's best friend, Steffi, invited some of her co-workers and Eddie just happened to be one. You know, I guess he kept staring over in their, their area and he was waved on by Steffi to just come join combo with them. Well, you guys already know the rest. They became really close, Dominique and Eddie. And I guess because the COVID hit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got real snuggly, cuddle booze, cuffed up, what have you. But before the, listen girl, before the damn COVID hit, they had already, she had already tried out the D. I'ma just say this. Like she said, sex isn't everything, you know, but um, it does play a huge part in some things, okay? But it ain't everything. Because listen, what if you was with the person and they just got into a bad accident and then they were paralyzed from the waist down? What you gonna do, leave them? I mean, if you really do care for them and you vibe with them, you definitely wouldn't leave them. You just have to figure out different ways to get around that. Work around it, please one another. I don't know, you know, just use your brain. But this is this the part that gets me. This one little hair is bothering the hell out of me. So you got this great dude, like she said, he got a nice attitude, he's sweet, he's, you know, he's kind, his conversation, you know what I'm saying, is great, but he's short, his D is short, and his um, his his wallet seemed to be a little bit short too, okay? Now, she wasn't interested in being in no relationship, she was focusing on herself. For the past two years, she hadn't been in a relationship. She really didn't say what her last relationship was like, but you know what? I'm gonna just say this. 
when you do leave a relationship, especially if you've been in a long-term relationship and you really was digging the, that person that you broke up with, it's kind of hard to move on. And it's not even that it's hard to move on, but sometimes you just got to leave it alone, leave the dating scene alone, leave the men alone, leave the woman alone, and just focus on yourself and build yourself back up and just get back to you. Because I know that a lot of times when you're in a relationship, before your relationship even starts, you're good to go, you know, you're glowing, you you well kept or whatever. And then when you get into this relationship, each person gets really comfortable. And sometimes they start forgetting who they really are, forgetting what they came from, forgetting about themselves, you know what I'm saying? Or caring for themselves too much because they're so invested in that other person. But not only that, when you leave a relationship, I just really feel like it's best just to be alone. Don't be hunting nobody down for no rebound. Now y'all already know I am not in a relationship anymore as of November and that's fine with me. If y'all really want to know what happened, y'all could definitely check out my real talk from December. I will hopefully remember to link it below but you know I'm not in a relationship anymore and it's cool you know what I'm saying I have been through enough in the past 18 months in my life where um relationship ain't really even priority to me I don't know it's just you know you, you feel like well let me try something out different this time let me try something else out but you know something after watching all of those freaking crime shows on the ID channel because that's all I ever watched I don't think I want to be with anybody you know you feel like you know somebody you meet them as their representative of course when you first know somebody or meet somebody they put on their best behavior they put on their best self and that could last for quite some time shit that could last for like years until you marry they ass and then you realize who the person really is you know what I'm saying but you know when you first meet somebody it's always their representative they put on a good best performance it's like you don't want to meet someone first meet them and then they you know what I'm saying they show in their real self because that real self may not be something that you're attracted to therefore you definitely gonna run the red flag is gonna go up and you're gonna run but I just think like when you leave a relationship, it's always best to just chill and be on your your number one A game. Build yourself back up. Don't just don't go looking for no rebound. And I understand where Dominique was like, you know, it's been two years. I have been without a relationship prior to this one for a while. And I was fine with that. You know, sometimes people will say, Oh, well, don't you miss being with somebody? Not really. Not really. Like it's it's cool, it's great to be in a relationship, especially if you really love that person and care for them. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it does hurt. Like, okay, I'll be straight up honest. You know, okay, my relationship lasted a long time. Of course, you guys already know who it was. And we was together for well over some years, 22 years. And then, you know, we we I divorced him we got back together you know what I'm saying and I was happy head over heels but sometimes things don't work out in your favor sometimes things are just not meant to be and sometimes you got to learn that the hard way you know especially you know what they say the heart wants what the heart wants and that's just what it is and but then you start to realize later on down the road this is not the person that I need to be with this is not the person for me this is not the timing it could be a numerous of things do I miss being in a relationship I can say yes and I can say no. I can say I do miss the companionship, the love, and that particular person, but then I can say no because I don't miss the stress and I do like being by myself and I do like to focus on myself. But yes, I do miss being in a relationship. However, I don't want to be in a relationship with just anybody and I damn sure ain't about to be bringing nobodies around my children. So that's one thing that like kind of keeps me at bay with just being by myself and being single because I do have kids and I don't introduce people to my kids like that. I feel like my home is my comfort zone, my safe, safe zone. And to move in with people, you start to really get to know a person once you move in with them, regardless of how long you've been with them, they can live in their place and they can you can live in yours it doesn't matter once you move in with somebody you really get to know them and there are things that can set a person off like me I'm kind of like set in my own ways I like things done a particular way and I'm pretty sure that everybody is like that and there are some things that I just don't I just don't tolerate I just won't tolerate and I just can't deal with but then there is a part of me that will allow you to not walk all over me but I will give you that that inch but please don't take a mile or I'll give you that mile and I will sacrifice some things because 
this is you and I am me. And everybody comes with their own baggage and their own flaws. And you cannot always attack a person for that. But there are some things that build a relationship and some things that will destroy a relationship. And sex could be one of them, girl. Like, listen, I have dealt with some little chaps. That's what I call them. Chapstick sized dudes in my time. Okay. And let me just tell you, there's really no way to work around that part when it's the insertion part. But there are other things that y'all can do too. Like, you know, make sure that his tongue is very well exercised and he work his jaw, his mouth came out. Cause honey, if that, if that doesn't work, then hopefully, you know, his tongue game can, but you know, that will also break a relationship too. I'm not saying, oh, well, look for a guy with a big D because a big D ain't always listen. A big D could, could be a big D and it could just be a whack D too. Just like a little D could probably work its way around and hit the little spots that it needs to. You know what I'm saying? Like the little fish Nemo who's finding his way home or whatever. Same thing with a little D. Same thing. Okay. But I just feel, I just feel like this. When you're in a relationship, it's like a 50-50. And I'm sorry, but I'm not cheap. And I'm damn sure ain't nobody's um, sugar mama. Oh, and I'm damn sure not a gold digger. But I feel like this. Um, it's 50-50. Maybe one time you pay for lunch or dinner. You know what I'm saying? One time I do. It, it, but dude, just because you over at my house and you we ordering, don't mean that you can slip your free meal if in there. And I say free meal because you didn't pay for it, okay? Free meal, all right? But moving in with each other, girl, bye, all right? First of all, it's only been a year. I'm sorry, but listen, COVID only brought y'all closer. That's the one main thing. If it wasn't COVID running out here rampant like an STD, I guarantee you, you would have been out there dominating, sowing your wild oats, uh, being free-spirited and minding your business and doing the things you do. And I'm pretty sure Eddie would. But because, you know, everybody wear a mask and like they say, like I say, my cousin Christine said this to me, everybody look cute in a damn mask and that's the truth until so you pull it down and you be like girl who did i bring home last night but his deed was good okay so like seriously covid only brought y'all together really close that's that's in my opinion that's how i feel if there was no covid he probably wouldn't have been that sweet. He probably wouldn't have been that humble. But the nigga is, um, excuse my French, he is asking for a little bit too much. I'm not really too fond of, I'm not like hell bent on height with, with men. Like, okay, I'm going to just be honest when I say, like, I don't like I'm too short. Like, you can be like my height. That's great. But, you know, like, that's, that's fine. But shorter than me, heck no. That's just like, no, I just, no, no. Cause I would feel like this. What if we, you know, we was out and about somewhere and somebody tried to jump us or fight us or fight you, or I don't know, something popped off. I don't, I'm not going to really feel like you are going to be able to save me. Especially if you like way shorter than me, girl, I'm not trying to fight for your battles. I might have to just, just bounce on the nigga. Just like, seriously, I might have to just bounce on him. I just feel like, listen, you know, everybody have their preference. Some some women really do like men who are really shorter than them. I'm going to say this. I work hard for mines. I work hard for everything that I have here in my home. And I'm not about to allow no moocher, no man, no man slide me when it comes to being as one. Meaning, if we together... Dude, you gotta pay just as well as I. It's not that men always gotta pay because I tell you this, I am a strong woman and I don't need any man to pay for anything for me. And I may have to prove myself at times because honestly, it's not that I like to prove myself, but I do like to let it be known like I can handle my own and I'm well established enough to where if I need to buy me that Happy Meal, sweetheart, I can buy myself that happy meal and not have to be stressed out about you at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Moving in is a no. You know, you like him, but you just said you don't know if you could ride the um the uh, storm out with him. Girl, listen, if you're not into him like that and you feel like in yourself that you, you'd be happier and better off as just kind of like common friends or I would say hit it whenever, you know, like uh, booty calls friends, but that's not even gonna work out because he's a little bit short in that area. But if you honestly, Dominique, feel like, okay, I don't wanna be his soulmate. I don't wanna be his bestie. I don't wanna even really be his girlfriend, girlfriend like that. 
I would rather be his mutual friend than honestly, me personally, I would just tell him like, listen, you don't have to tell him that he's got a little lipstick. You don't have to sell, say he's got a little lipstick. But what you can tell him is, you know, like how they do us, you know, this is not the right time for me to be in a relationship with anyone. And this has nothing to do with you, but there's so much going on with the world from the virus to riots to social distancing to just so much going on that I have a lot going on mentally. And I just really feel like I need to focus a whole lot more on myself. I would love to still remain friends and we can still hang out. But as far as being in a relationship, I just really don't feel like I'm ready for that with anyone right now, especially with the world the way it is. Girl, that'd be my excuse for anything, okay? Listen, they'll be like, girl, can you show up today to get um, to come to work? Well, you know, I want to be there, but I don't really feel like today is the day for me to be at work because with the way the world is, this virus, this, this, these riots, this, this economy, like just this, this, this world, the way it is right now, I don't feel like it's best for me to be at work. I, like I said, can you babysit today? I would babysit today, but the way that this world is today, it's really got me down. I'm stressed out. I got a lot on my mind and plate, and I don't really think that I could focus fully on watching your child. Girl, listen, do you think you could loan me some money? Listen, with today, the way the world is, you know, with the economy, with the unemployment rate, with the stimulus checks, I am barely, like, being able to focus on myself. And for me this time, because of the way the world is, it's not, I, I'm not gonna be able to. Hello, use it, I'm just saying. Can I get a little booty tonight? Honey, today was so stressful. You know how the way this world is and what's going on in the economy and out in the world, it's just stressed me out so much. I got like this humongous stress headache, like, I just, you know, I'm not able to just be able to function tonight. I'm telling you, use it. It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. But Dominique, also realness, like, listen, being shorter is not too bad. Just, just always wear flats around the dude. Just always wear flats. But being short on the cash flow, honey, everybody work for theirs. Everybody out here work for their money harder than ever. Like me personally, I, I work hard and I, I'm not going to allow no one, like I said, to use me, to, 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 to gain one up on me, to leech off me, to, to do any of that, to take my self-esteem down. Okay. And if you're not happy with his performance with spending money while he's at your home, then you're definitely not going to be happy with his performance for a lot of other things. So I don't even remember where I left off at because my doorbell had rang and I thought it was a delivery. And it was actually my son, Jerron, and he has the keys to get in, but he and his wife was driving over in the area. He's teaching her how to drive. So they stopped by to say hello because they like to drive. You know, he likes to teach her over here. But I got to see my two grandsons. My eldest grandson was at, um, he was his friends. So yeah, but like I was saying about just relationships, moving in with someone, you know, sharing the costs. You definitely want to, if he's already being cheap and kind of like try to slide on, you know, paying expenses, especially his own expenses. Like there's nothing wrong with going Dutch, like, you know, 50, 50, but if, if he's already in the bad habits of allowing you to pay for his things, then girl, you might have to just really like let him loose. Okay. Like let him go. But also I feel like this, and this is just me saying this, he's at your house and he's using your lights, your water, your internet, your cable. He's sitting his ass on your furniture, eating with your utensils. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To me, I would, if I was a man, or even if I was a female, like your friend, I would definitely want to pay for your meal because I'm at your house. You're entertaining me. You know what I'm saying? We hanging out. So if I'm using these things, I just feel like that's only right. And now he's using you for a meal? Girl, no. What I would have done, this is just me. And I know it, it might be petty to some people, but maybe once, maybe even twice, I would have let you slide. 
for the third time? Oh, no, because I would have been like, are you going to pay for your stuff? Or when they started ringing the doorbell? Oh, the delivery person's here. Where's your money at for you? Um, where's the money at for your food? What he gonna say? Oh, you can pay for it? Because I look at him and be like, well, I guess you can leave with your order with the delivery person. Okay, I mean, what can you really expect someone to say when you like when you say to them, well, the delivery person is here. Let me get the money for um your portion of the food. There's really not much you can argue with unless you ain't got no money. Then you're gonna have to say, well, I ain't got it. And for all that, you should have said that before we even ordered. Hey, you mind sliding me a few bucks for a meal? Oh, do you mind paying for mine? I ain't got it right now. Uh, because the way the world is and my bank account is set up, I'm just not going to be able to fund my own meal. Like, I'm just saying, that's just me. But I wouldn't allow that to keep happening. And as far as all the dirty talk and then the non-action... Girl, listen, because I'm going to call it non-action because you talk a good game. You know, that's like all, all bark, no bite. Like, you know, all bark, no bite, like how little dogs are. Even people that talk a lot of mess, but then they not really like about it. All bark and no bite. I don't know about y'all, but I know me, and I love a good dirty talk. Yeah, talk to me dirty. I love it. Talk to me nice, whatever, okay? But when it comes down to all the dirty talking, explicit talking that you have done did, I'm really going to need you to show and prove and, you know, act on what you just told me. Now, sometimes, and this is unfortunate, but sometimes men feel like, not all of them, but just some, those who know I'm talking about, meaning themselves, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not throwing no shade out there for definite, for sure. Okay, but I'm just saying, I have experienced this once in my lifetime, okay, a long time ago, okay, a long, very long time ago, maybe like 25, 26 years ago, um, you know, sometimes they don't know that they have a chapstick, and it is up to you to let them know that, and you can go about it in so many different ways, you can say it nicely, you can say it harshly, you can say it explicitly, while they're talking to you dirty, you can say it the same way, whisper in their ear, oh yeah, I know you're going to do all of that dirty stuff to me, make sure you work that little thing, I, I, you know, I, I don't know, work, make sure, you, you know, just live up to the expectations that you just set out, okay, just let's live up to them, just like stand up to them, stand and deliver, you know what I'm saying, girl, but, you know, maybe his, I'm pretty sure that every woman love a good dirty talk, who don't, come on now, let, let's be for real with one another, I mean, like, let's be for real, let's be grown-ups, we all love a good dirty talk. And if you don't, then I'm, I don't know what to tell you. You might want to re-embark on the more adventurous life. Don't be a prude, all right? And I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm pretty sure every woman loves a good dirty talk. What gets the juices flowing? But then when you get to the part where it's time to take action and role play and all that stuff, and you're let down, honey, you're really let down and the juices will dry the hell up, like a prune. Me, with Eddie and his, he, he got too many, like she said, he's short in too many in too many places, too many ways. He's short on the funds, he got a short, you know what, and um, he's short as in height. Girl, my temper would have been short a long time ago. I think I would have been short-tempered um, not the part with the sex. I probably would, because, you know, it's to be expected. Not everybody is great. But um, I would have definitely got, sh my temper would have, my temper would have definitely, and look, and not with the height, because I knew you were short when I first saw your ass, so I can't really be too upset about that. Hey, I set myself up for this. But the part where the cash, like you, you trying to be stingy, greedy, selfish, a leech, you know, a user, a gold digger, I don't know, a manipulator, whatever, that's when I would have had a short temper because I'm not about to let you eat off of me. Not for too long, honey, maybe once or twice because everybody deserves three chances. The third one, you strike. But yeah, Dominique, if you're not ready for a relationship, and you just really want to focus on yourself and you definitely ain't ready to be living with somebody like it's okay to be in a relationship but to live with someone that one right there i would just hold off on you know what i'm saying you don't really know why why he want to live together because you didn't state that you know people want to live together for all different reasons and maybe his reason may not be something that you are agreeing upon okay he might not be telling you well you know my my funds are really short my hours are short 
my lease is short, my time up at the, my mom's house is short. You know what I'm saying? There could be a whole bunch of different reasons. But listen, ain't nothing wrong with being single, girl. Listen, I I, I, I totally agree with Dominique when she was like, um, you don't got to cater to nobody. You ain't got to let no man get under your skin. I really had a great relationship in the beginning. And even, you know, after we divorced, it was great this time around here in Arizona. But things fell apart. And, you know, I'm not blaming it all on him. And I'm not blaming it all on myself. We take the blame, the both of us. And I would, I would be lying if I said I didn't miss him. Because I miss things about him, not him as a whole person. But it is always nice to be in a relationship with somebody that you care for. And y'all could vibe together. But once it starts stressing you out, girl, and you start thinking things of like, you know, all kind of things. And you start feeling in certain type of ways then it's just best to just step away because sometimes you just got to focus on yourself and me I know myself I don't really feel lonely when I don't have a relationship I don't I just feel like myself I'm able to you know look the way I look all day long if I want to I'm not saying that I would make myself up to impress a person but you know what I'm saying it's it's easy going. You don't have to, you, you just be yourself and you could just chill out. And I know when I'm single, I focus really hard on money, building myself, home. I just focus a lot on that family. And, and I had, you know what I'm saying? But in certain relationships, like the one I was in, I definitely still focused on those things too, because that he was a part of my family. But when you're with someone, you definitely want to feel the vibe. And you have like too many things that you have complained about, Dominique, and not really complained about, but it was three things. Money, sex, and height. You know, he ain't never gonna grow in both places. So honey, that you're gonna either have to overcome or get 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 with it. Okay? Um, or get lost. The third thing, which is short on the cash, he could definitely overcome that and get a better job, save money, whatever he's doing to do it. Or you can have a talk with him like, listen, dude, we're not about to, you're not about to be over here all the time eating up my food and then eating up my lights and my cable, my water and my gas and my heat. And then you expect me to pay for your meals too. Like it don't work like that. You can definitely have a talk with him about that one thing in particular. You can, shit, you can still talk to him about the bedroom boudoir stuff. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Let him know. Like, listen, this is not really working for me in this particular area. So I'm going to need you to, you know, fancy it up with your mouth game. Like you, there's all types of ways to say it. You ain't got to say it like I did, but I'm just going to be blunt and let you know. Okay. And as for the height thing, like, there's really not much you can say to him. Like, nigga, you can't grow. So would you grow some? Can you just grow? You, he's, There's no magical pill for him to grow and gain any height. So the thing that I would say about that is, girl, just wear flats at all times, okay? Maybe when we was role playing and you're a dominatrix or whatever, th then that might come into play. You could wear some tall heels around him. But you might want to just wear flats. But as far as the D game and... If you're really not into him, because when you want to be with somebody, you want to really be into them. You want to feel like you're in love when you let them move in. Because, girl, listen, if you move in with me, I got to be in love with you. I can't just love you and like you and let you live with me because I am a whole bitch. When I say a whole bitch, like, I like things my way. And I don't really like for you to be um, making me feel like you're using me or manipulating me. I don't like that feeling. And once I feel that way, it's a problem. So that's when it's a huge problem. But you have to be in love with a person, for me anyway, to live with them and, and really love them. Like, Because it's not easy to live with another adult, let alone yourself at times and your children. Okay. I don't know, you guys. Let Dominique know. What would you do? Me, personally, I would just let him know, like I said, the way the world is, you know, this is not really a good time for a relationship. That's that's what I would do. What, what about y'all? What would y'all do? You know, he is 3Ds in the game. He's just three shorts. Three shorts. Three shorts. Like I said, the height, you set yourself up for that one. The money, you didn't really know. Um... The D, you didn't know neither. And if a dude is talking explicit to you, you really think he's going to come with his A game. But dude came with an F minus. 
And I don't even know if they have F minuses, but I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just saying, girl. So you know, hit the like, subscribe, share button down below. Real Talk Wednesdays is back on the go, just like this DDs, you know. Um, I'm happy to be doing Real Talk again, you know. I'm 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 very happy. It gives me time to just chit chat and talk with you guys and talk mess. Like, damn. So let me know what you thought of Real Talk, what you guys want to talk about. You can leave it down below. You can send me the email, what you think of the look for today. Okay. Hello. And yeah, if you really want to know about my relationship demise, you can definitely check out my latest Real Talk. I will hopefully remember to post it down below. And on that note, I got to go, but I will definitely see y'all in the next video.